practice, and I'm back on site today for just a short day. I had a bit of a slow start this morning with uh, trying to get River going on his school activities. I've been doing homeschooling with him, and over the summer while we were putting in really long days on this, we kind of let the homeschool thing go to the side a little bit. That's not generally my preference. I know public schools, they just are completely off for the summer, but whenever you kind of put things down completely and then try to pick them up, there's always a little bit of a learning curve. You, there's always things that have been forgotten, and we had a little bit of a bumpy start this morning, you know, just trying to get back into that routine. But I still have maybe three hours here today that I want to work, uh, and you know, I've already gotten a few things accomplished. You guys can see the studs that I was putting in yesterday, and I kind of stopped just after I did that because the next thing I want to work on here, the next critical item really, is figuring out exactly where the doorway is going to be here. There's a doorway that goes into this room, and I wanted the doorway to reference off of this point right here, where the ceiling uh, truss uh, goes into the collar tie right here. I wanted to push the door as far to your left as I could, so instead of continuing on that wall, I started jumping over to this wall. As I was working on this wall, I, I realized I needed to start putting in these posts. These posts here are uh, going to be for doors that go into like a storage space here and here and here, and they continue into this bedroom area here. It's going to be River's bedroom, uh, and there's going to be you know closets based on uh, on these posts here. But as I was measuring to get the vertical height of these, and I always measure each place because you know things can be a little imperfect, and you don't want to presume that everything is exactly where you would, had intended it to be. I noticed that the posts in this area here, just immediately to your left, uh, they were going to have to be longer, uh, up to an inch longer, and that's because I believe we have some floor slumping going on in this area over here. Uh, and, you know, I, that's not a big deal. It's easy to, to handle the floor slumping. I just build the walls on the floor beneath, kind of push it up a little bit. Uh, not a big deal at all. Uh, the only problem is that if I, I can't build walls on the floor under this one until I build walls on the floor beneath that floor because, you know, it'll just push the, the other floor down. And I can't build walls on the very, very bottom because we don't have a slab yet. It's still just dirt and gravel all the way on the bottom level. And it's going to stay that way until we can get this place warm enough to pour the slab. And I can't get it warm enough to pour, pour the slab until we get all the windows in. We still have three windows that are... They haven't shown up yet, they got lost in someone else's shipment. I've been promised that they're going to show up soon, but soon is a very vague <laughs> description of when they're showing up, and I don't know exactly when that's going to be. Uh, so, you know, I only bring that up just to illustrate the fact that you can have different elements of your build, uh, and, and you can have something completely unrelated, uh, you know, the fact that windows didn't show up, uh, interfering with the, the idea that I would love to just do all these posts on this wall, you know, get into a, you know, uh, routine, just do all the posts one after another. But I've got to stop here because we've got the slump there, and it's just, you know, that's the kind of thing that you have to keep an eye out for when you're doing uh, a job like this. There's so many different aspects of it that can interfere with each other, and, you know, something as disconnected seeming as windows not showing up can influence whether or not you're going to be working on your closet. But uh, I, am, I am able to work in this area because this area did not slump down. And I just wanted to talk about how I'm attaching these posts. Now, these posts here, uh, they key down into the floor. They're a structural element. They're for kind of holding the roof together and everything. And these are structural as well. But I didn't need to, uh, you know, build these to the same, these guys to the same uh, degree of strength as these. So what I'm doing, instead of keying these down into the floor, I'm just to toenailing them into the floor. And what that means is you're driving nails in diagonally down at the corners here. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the way that I do that. When you're doing toenailing, when you start the first one, you want to kind of back, you know, your foot up against whatever you're nailing to kind of keep it from sliding. Start one end. Once you get that one with a little bit of a bite, don't finish it and jump to the other side. Get some toenails in there. Don't finish those either. And run around all, uh, all along the periphery. Get all the toenails in so that they got a little bit of a bite. And then go back and set them. And I've been using a nail set to finish them off. Uh, you know, just it makes a cleaner look and it avoids me banging into the, the wood and messing it up. Uh, but the reason that you don't want to set them as you go is because uh, as you're setting them, they're really going to kind of try to push that post around. If I'm nailing on this on this back side, it's going to try to push the post over in this direction. So I, to avoid that, I want to get all the nails in, get it kind of set where it's going to be, and then I go in and I finish them up. So that's it. I've got a few more hours here. I'm just going to try to do as much as I can. It's not a lot. It's just a few posts and things, but it's work that I don't have to do in the future. That's it. Thanks for watching.